this is the Pastoral Gamer, and today I'm reviewing Peter Rabbit. Uh, why are you making me review this, daughter says? You know, the name's Pastoral Gamer, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not reviewing these movies, but uh, I guess I don't have a choice in the matter. Peter Rabbit is a computer animated movie uh, based on the stories of Peter Rabbit. Uh, it stars the voice of uh, that Pratt James Corbin. Well, uh, I didn't actually know it was James Corbin, so that's why I enjoyed it. It's based in England's uh, Lake District. I went there once for a farmer's conference, and uh, Peter Rabbit uh, and his con cousin uh, Benjamin Button and his uh, triplet sisters uh, spend most of their days picking on old Mr. McGregor and stealing his vegetables from his garden. I took this quite personally because it reminded, it reminded me of my grandpappy and how all the rodents in his farm started bullying him about and the poor man's just trying to make a living you know you can't pick on a man just trying to earn his keep you know um, nature stays in nature and the, and the people stay as the people they end up uh, being friends of this uh, woman who looks like Hermione Granger and they spend their time painting pictures of rabbits she then starts acting as the rabbit's mother so she's a bit of a crazy lady but she's a hot crazy lady so it's all right you then get a backstory of uh peter rabbit's dad getting killed by the farmer and i said good on you farmer that's a good lad you know getting that getting that pesky rabbit done uh, off your property and turn him into a pie one day uh peter though leaves uh his uh jacket in in the farmer's garden and he goes and gets it and the farmer traps him but just as the farmer's about to get his uh just deserts he he gets a heart attack and that's the end of the story we then cut to london london and you have uh, his great nephew uh, thomas mcgregor who uh seemed a bit like a fancy boy to me uh uh he's an uptight uh controlling workaholic uh the type i went to farming to avoid uh he works in a toy department in harold's and he, uh, he's like expecting a promotion from his uh, general manager. He then like uh, gets fired from his job and then he hears about his green grandpappy dying and uh, he doesn't really care but that's because he didn't really know the guy so I can't really blame him for that. So then he has nowhere to go other than the property his grandpappy left him. I was reading the feedback for people gave this movie. They didn't like it because uh, it, they labelled it as being too modern or insulting to meet Rick Spotter's work. They call the trailer garbage and low brow comedy cringe fest. I mean, it's a bloody kids movie. What do you expect, you boy? Were you expecting Shakespeare? Well, go watch Shakespeare. You don't go to Peter Rabbit to see the greatest lines ever told. This is not the way it works, boy. The Guardian said it looked like the result of some bestly inept man handling. Uh, there's something uh, harrowing about the sight of Peter Rabbit thoughtlessly injuring some birds or grabbing a pie of lettuce and making it rain like a banker in a strip club. Uh, uh, li literally twerking and argued there's no way on earth that Beatrix Potter would ever give the green light a slow motion car crash like that i don't know what type of drugs this boy is on but can i have some uh clever and funny uh moves as fast as a tyke on a sugar bender jesus christ what are these city slickers talking about they also mentioned uh there's allegedly bullying uh the accusations of the same bird thomas mcgregor who know who has a severe allergy to blackberries is pelting to the berry in the mouth and causing a uh, Apoplectic shock and grabs his EpiPen. Uh, they say this may send the kids a wrong message, but well, I was bloody laughing my head off. I thought it was great crack, but it's a PG. Like, should the parents not tell the kids, like, this is wrong? It's okay to laugh at it, but you wouldn't do it in real life, not unless you really didn't like the son of a bitch. The movie itself made $50 million and the box office of $351 million, so it was a great hit. Uh, what did I think of the film? I actually thought it was good crack, you know, I'd give it an A. I, I really did enjoy the film, of course, uh, it's not a perfect film, you know, there's just one or two things 
uh, sometimes the jokes fell a wee bit flat at times, but it's a kid's movie, and as a kid's movie goes, it's one of the best I've seen. This is the Pastoral Gamer, and I'll see you again, folks. Keep her lit. Hello, guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe for more videos. Bye.